In Denmark, both women and men are expected to work. While helping the financial state of the society as a whole, this also creates prosperity and development. When both women and men work, it is also expected that they help each other with the household chores and their children's upbringing. Women and men are to be treated equally within the labour market. They are also to have equal opportunities in terms of getting hired and being promoted. Women and men are to receive equal pay for carrying out the same job. Discrimination based on people's gender, religion, sexual orientation or origin is prohibited. There are both female and male managers in Danish workplaces. Today, men still work more than women do. In addition, more men than women are managers. As a result, one can still fight for more equality. Both women and men have the right to earn their own money and the right to decide for themselves what it is to be spent on. This is also true when one is married. Both parties are under obligation to provide for the other, but they are not financially dependent on one another. When we came to Denmark, I quickly discovered that as a family, one needs two sources of income if one is to make ends meet. In the beginning, I had to get used to having to work. Hamad has encouraged me a lot and my workplace has been wonderful. Contributing to the family's income has provided me with status and independence. For it to work, the men need to understand that household chores must be shared. As there are two parties involved in earning money, it is only natural that work in the home should also be shared between them.